It's a weather whiplash from hot and humid to cold and windy. And if you're feeling stuffy or just off today, there really is a good reason why. Research suggests extremes in weather can trigger migraines, increased joint pain, even cause some stress on your heart. Uh, this time of year, the dramatic shift can also be hard on people who are already suffering from seasonal allergies. Maybe you already know that one. We talked to a local doctor who says it is not just in your head. Large weather swings, oftentimes people will notice that their bodies feel different. There are multiple factors at play, says Dr. Amrita Ray, an ear, nose, and throat specialist at Henry Ford Health. It's not necessarily just the temperature itself, but a whole host of other meteorologic changes that potentially play a role in that, including the humidity, the barometric pressure. You may have experienced a similar effect on your last flight. One of the more common places that we notice where things can kind of be problematic is, for example, when you go up on airplanes, um, right? So we notice huge changes in pressure and, and our, a lot of times patients say, hey, my sinuses are flaring up when I go on an airplane, either coming up or down. Large weather changes also tend to impact people with seasonal allergies. Allergies and those types of things can cause swelling, right? Um, and so anytime you have something like that, you kind of add insult to injury and you're adding in more congestion, more swelling that's going on inside the nose, making it harder to breathe. Medications that reduce swelling, including allergy drugs like Zyrtec, Claritin, or Allegra, can be helpful. So can planning ahead. If we know that the weather is going to shift, right, if we know that it's going to go from 80 to, to 30 in one day, preemptively taking some of those medicines um, can help. Other things that you can potentially do are things like sinus rinses, which are salt water rinses, um, or like a neti pot. Now, Dr. Ray says we cannot prevent 100% of these symptoms when we live in a place with four seasons as we do. But if your symptoms are truly uncomfortable, it is worth talking to a doctor to try and reduce the impact.